Hi everyone, it's Zach with Pound to Research. We got breaking news posted by Bloomberg this morning. Everything that has been alluded to has finally come out that Palantir has agreed to a strategic partnership with the Israeli Defense Forces. So Bloomberg breaks the article that the news from Palantir's EVP, Joss Harris, confirming that both parties have mutually agreed to use Palantir's technology to support war-related missions. There are two points in speculation from my end on how this deal could play out based on our experience with Ukraine, albeit there will be a lot of variants for sure that aren't apples to apples. But to see if we have anything else, unsurprisingly, no further details on the arrangement that was disclosed. But first point from other conflicts around the world, especially with Ukraine, as well as what current customers have disclosed. Pounder already has the capabilities to help with the war efforts on and off the battlefield, like targeting, refugee relocation, demining, and war crimes. And these are all applicable in this conflict as well. Now, in addition, we can expect probably some innovation or geographic specific applications to come out of this, but we can't forget this factor to take into account that the military strength of Israel is already in comparison to at least the Ukraine, which most would say is Israel may already be way ahead and have some competency right off the bat here technologically. So it's definitely not an apples to apples comparison, like I said, so there can be some pound to experience already from the IDF, meaning value may come out that much quicker. But do note also the nature of the conflicts aren't the same either. Israel really has to play this on all fronts because unlike Ukraine, there isn't really a worry except Belarus for someone else joining the conflict, whereas Israel always has that constantly dealing with that threat of surrounding neighbors, which historically have been after Israel's area since the end of time. Now, second, in terms of dollar amount here, there's nothing, of course, to... But in regards to the nature of how payments will be made, at least in Ukraine also, which also has been disclosed from Bloomberg too, funnily, Palantir apparently has only been paid around a million dollars through the U.S. government for their help in the country of Ukraine. So coming directly from Ukraine has not really been a thing at this point and probably won't be for a long time until the country is back on its feet and officially out of the conflict. Now for the IDF, I wouldn't be surprised to see something similar at least in the beginning where payments come later and all hands in deck right now because they're just setting up the country to use Palantir to your software and get those use cases up and running. So hopefully Pouncher software can further assist the IDF in achieving their mission objectives and reducing any civilian casualties with the nature of Hamas utilizing civilians as a deterrent and shields, maybe more specific technology, especially in the targeting area that Pouncher is known for, can actually preemptively allow the IDF to get an even better picture of the outcomes of any specific military action. But we'll just have to see at this point so there's sparse on details, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.